Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today, uh, let's talk about a simple solution to uh, a situation that some of us can get into when we have more fly lines than we have spools and reels, which can easily happen. A classic situation would be, uh, I'm going to go fish uh, salt water, so I take my fresh water line off, put my salt water line on, and then when I get back home again from my trip, I take the salt water line off and put a fresh water line back on. So there are ways to do that uh, flipping and flopping, but I'm going to show you probably the easiest way to do this. Uh, what we need really is a big loop, and I'll show you how to use that in a moment, but let's talk about making the loop first. The, uh, this knot here in this has to be very strong if you're in salt water. Uh, there is a, a knot called bimini twist, which is very difficult to tie, very fiddly to tie, but it's extremely strong. Uh, a simpler knot to tie, uh, which is this one right here, the one I'm using, is uh, called the spider hitch. And it works just fine uh, to um, uh, do for most saltwater species. I think if you're going for the really, really heavy duty stuff like 150 pound tarpon, Probably the bimini twist would be a good idea, but I think for you know for striped bass and that I don't have any problems with the spider hitch. However, even that knot is probably overkill for freshwater applications. So if I mean if all you're doing is going bass and trout and stuff like this, and you're flipping between a bass line and a trout line, you don't need to go to the effort of using a, a spider hitch. You can make a big loop out of uh, a knot called the double surgeon's loop, and I have a video on the uh, double surgeon's loop which you can check out. It's a very easy knot to tie. You can knock them off real quickly. But the idea is you've got a knot that enables you to make this big loop. So why, how does that all work? So here's the line I want to put on my reel. And if you like good modern lines, it has a loop. And that loop uh, enables us to do loop to loop connections. And this is the loop at the back end, not the loop at the front end. So all I do, is pass this loop through my loop of the fly line and then I use the big loop to go round the spool. So now I've done a loop to loop connection and you can see that is now looped on. No problem at all, that'll hold just fine. Now I can put my spool on my line winder here And now I can start to wind it on. So you're in a position to flip lines backwards and forwards quite easily. And if you don't have a line winder, all you need to do is use a screwdriver and a clamp and clamp, put the screwdriver through the spool. So you just put it through the spool and clamp it to the table and you can do that too. I mean, if you can put a little coil spring in there to put some tension, that works even better. So you know, uh, just a screwdriver and a clamp, a couple of washers so it doesn't rub on the table. You know, it, it, you can turn your, make your own line winder quite quickly uh, out of just a, a screwdriver and a clamp and a couple of washers. So, you know, when you're getting into doing this kind of thing and you're flipping lines constantly, it makes sense not to make a permanent connection at the back of the fly line but rather to make a loop connection that we can simply loop and unloop, loop and unloop to suit ourselves. So if you had one reel and three fly lines you like to use on it, this is probably the easiest way to get around it. And uh, I, I'd recommend it. If you find yourself going from one type of fishing to another type of fishing and you want to change lines, this is it. This is the way to go. Whether you have a line winder or just a screwdriver, you can do it. Cheers.